How's it going guys? So I'm standing out here beside our new heifer barn that we built this year. And a lot of you have seen kind of the whole process from start to finish with this building. But I wanted to make a video just walking through, kind of going into some of the details I might not have explained. We moved in uh, in July, so it's been three, four months now. We built this barn to house our heifers from three months old to 15 months. It's young stock, they're gonna eventually be milking cows once they have their first calf. So they come in here, right out of the calf barn. We kind of geared the barn a little bit more towards the younger end. These are the ones that are a little bit more vulnerable, just uh, making the transition out of the calf barn. So a couple of things with the barn, we kept it a little bit shorter. Didn't want to make too high of a barn, there's a lot of draftiness to it. Be a little bit more likely to get sick in a, a barn like that. Um, and you can see the design of the roof. You see how the roof peaks more towards the front. So there's just a steel roof on the back side there, but then this front has a clear roofing material. It's like a skylight. So it lets some light and heat down through it. And that's just to help warm that barn up in the early mornings in the winter time when it's colder. But the peaks more towards the front so that in the summer when the sun's directly above, uh, it's gonna be a nice shady spot in the back there. It's not gonna be too much sunlight getting in. The barn's 142 feet long, 42 feet wide. And there's the overhang in the front that sticks out eight feet i believe the front area where they eat there's a 12 foot alleyway and we have a 10 foot manure pit underneath this whole section the manure anything's just falling down through staying dry and that's been awesome we've really enjoyed not having to scrape manure out it just stays clean all the time so we've had calves in this for four months or so and we haven't scraped that once the first two pens we put the what they call calf slats in they're just a little bit thinner. Um, and as they get in the third pen, they're a little wider. Those stay a little bit cleaner, but I'm glad we went with the, the thinner slats for the small ones, just to make sure they don't get their feet stuck in there. After the alley in the front, there's a curb right there and a 30 foot bed pack to the back wall. So that's where they go to lay down and rest. We really wanted to go with the bed pack just because of how comfortable it is. It does take a bit more bedding, but we found we like using wood shavings, keep them pretty dry. Hopefully next summer we can get some ceiling fans in this building, help keep the bedding dry too. We come in with bedding once a week about, and it's been working really good. Then in the front of the building, we went with headlocks. There's a total of 84 that can eat at once in this building, I believe. This youngest pen was something we changed. We originally were gonna have eight headlocks in here, and then we decided we wanted to put a man pass in this gate because this is a pen we like to get in the most to uh, check calves and also to get to these doors. Once these roll doors are latched closed, you gotta get inside somehow. So rather than having to climb over this front fence, it's nice to be able to just get through this door. And uh, the only problem was this took up enough space that we can only get six headlocks in the rest of this span. We like to be able to move nine calves out of our calf barn at once because there's three in a pen. So I, I really wanted a couple more head spaces. We just decided to go with these slant bars. So we have actually 10 that can eat at once here in this first pen. And then the rest of these are eight. Uh, and they get down, you get some bigger pens. You see as we get down through, we put a couple man passes in to get into these older pens especially because this is the breeding age heifers. We're getting in and out to uh, want to breed them and also to do blood tests, to test for pregnancy. You see these last pens are quite a bit wider. That last one holds 16 heifers. We like to keep the groups a little smaller keep them kind of together with their same age group, same size, so they're not getting pushed around. These gates latch together pretty easy. Get out. Just swing them over, latch them closed. You can get into bed up or clean out or whatever. We put curtains on the back wall so that we can open everything up in the summer. And we have the curtains separated from end to end. We put this door in the middle. We're eventually gonna get some pasture set up outside and that way we can let, the plan is these two pens run together. They can run out that door and then these last two pens can run together and we'll be able to let them out the end door. So we'll be able to get a bunch of these outside eventually. And it's also nice because we split the curtains. Uh, these we can leave a little more open towards the older heifers. And then at the smaller end, we can close that up a little bit more. And we did put a curtain for half the building up there in the front above the headlocks just to uh, help keep some of that cold air from blowing in in the winter. So we got four watering troughs total with the eight pens. They split and uh, take care of two pens. It's nice uh, when you go to clean it out, the water just drains straight into the manure pit there. My favorite feature of this barn by far is the slatted floor in the front. Growing up, using our old heifer barn, we were scraping that thing 
multiple times a week. And as soon as you scrape it, it starts getting messy again. It's constantly cleaner than it ever was in the old building, basically. And I noticed with heifers, the slats stay cleaner than the slats do in our milk and cow barn. I'm not sure why that is. I guess they just make less manure at this age and the foot traffic, they just push it all down through. It stays really clean. So I had some people asking why we're using wood, why we're not building with steel. You know, why don't we pour a foundation the whole way around and then use steel to make the building. Around here, most people are using this type of construction for dairy barns, cattle barns like this. It's the same as our other buildings are. This is a little bit lower cost and it's gonna last plenty long for us. Yeah, we did stick the post down on the dirt in the back, but uh, you know, I dig down to the post in this building. This was built in 1999, same style. And the posts aren't rotting out. They're still in good condition from what I can tell. So it depends on your soil type and everything too, as far as if they're gonna rot underground there. So yeah, the manure pit, there's a pump out at each end. Um, you just lift this aluminum cover up. See the pit there is getting about two thirds, three quarters full. And you get that pumped out in the next couple of weeks before it gets uh, into December. So a last minute decision that was made with this building was to build this alleyway across the back, connecting it to our dry cow barn there. Originally we were just gonna stop the pit here and that barn we were gonna continue to scrape over to, there's an old pit right at the end of that building there. We're just thinking, well, it's gonna be a mess out there all the time. We wanna run them cattle through here to get out to their pasture eventually. And what if we go ahead and put a concrete alleyway across? So it was a little extra cost there, but I'm really glad we did that. It's, it's definitely keeping that end cleaner. And I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to let these cattle out into the pasture next spring. And kind of last minute too, we ended up deciding to put a curb there with a little wall just to pile some dry manure. Sometimes it's not quite enough liquid to scrape it into the manure pit. Just that little pile there actually works out really good. So this whole concrete area is sloped down. That barn sits about six inches higher than this one. So uh, the water ends up coming this way and going right into the manure pit, which actually works out. We just wanted to make sure we we're gonna have enough moisture to, to keep it good and liquid so we could pump it out. Sometimes we get some heavy rains, makes that pile all soupy. We'll scrape a bunch of it in the pit. Kind of works out pretty good. Yeah, we have the, the sliding doors on both ends of the building. Can seal it up pretty good. The, the whole back wall seals up. The front is open. This is towards the south side. So we don't get much wind or rain that blow in that way. Uh, that barn is the same design. It's open towards the south. We do have some overhang there that helps. It's nice to let sunlight in and, and uh, fresh air year round. It's, it's not a problem really. Back to the, the use of wood for construction. I don't think we're giving wood enough credit sometimes. I mean, it's, uh, it's a really good building material. Once they get to 13, 14 months old, we're looking to breed them. That's mainly this last group, some in the second to last. And one of the huge advantages to having this building is we were able to move all these to this farm. These are the ones that we're doing a little bit more work with. It's easier for us to catch them in heat and then we have the headlocks, so it's just so nice to be able to tie them in. We can get blood samples easily, stuff like that. It's been really nice. One thing that's been kind of driving us crazy lately is these headlocks. So they have these bars in them and you can adjust them. You pull this pin out and uh, change the, the size of the headlock a little bit. Some of the heifers like to stand up on the curb. They'll put their feet up here, stand right here. And they just, for some reason, love to lick those little pins out. And then some of them fall in the pit. Hey, yeah, look how many of these bars. We got to the point where we stopped putting them back in, just started laying them out here. So we need to figure out a, uh, a way to stop that. I don't know if any of you have experienced that, but we put the sturdy built uh, gates and headlocks in this building. Sturdy built manufacturing, it's a local company. It's the same ones that made our freestyle barn headlocks as well for the cows. We really like them, except heifers just love to mess with stuff. It's kind of annoying, but it's, it's really a minor thing. As far as the size of the building, do I wish we would have made it bigger? No, I actually don't. I think we went big enough. Uh, at first when I was running the numbers, I was thinking, man, we're not gonna be able to fit them in here. You know, we're gonna have to overcrowd the pens. And that's just not the case. We haven't had to overcrowd them at all. Anytime we need more space, we always have some heifers that are we're ready to move out anyway. They're pregnant. On the ends, we put these uh, little concrete aprons. I kind of wish we would have brought this out another five feet or something and made it pretty far out here so I could pivot my skid loader. Yeah, we end up turning right here and making ruts in the stones all the time. Pretty small deal, but I would have made that a little bigger. Uh, on the back, they put a four foot overhang. 
you know a storm can blow in in the summer pretty quick you don't have the curtains closed it can still blow in there you definitely have to be careful it's nice to have a good overhang back there our field out here kind of sloped down and we had to put quite a bit of fill in to get that far end up yeah so it kind of made this hill back here they got that slope nice got some grass growing our plan is to get some fences put in probably make three different pastures out kind of far here and around maybe next year we'll do some of that so as far as cost of this building i uh, usually stay away from sharing numbers too much but i mean you guys know stuff costs money obviously and uh figured i'll give you a good ballpark so we spent right around three hundred thousand on this project between the excavating and the building and everything might have been just a touch over that so yeah it's a big investment that's a lot of money we did get some tax credits for the manure pit also some for that uh, walkway across there a couple things like that are going to help our old setup we had a pile right here we we had to power dry manure out here and it just wasn't set up nice to keep the manure in place so compared to now there's there's no runoff at all you know they they try to give some advantages to people trying to make improvements in that area so what is the return on investment for this project uh you know how many years is going to pay itself off that's kind of tough to say you know we're raising young stock to eventually be milking cows so you know they don't start earning any money until they go into the barn and start making milk you know our thinking is we're going to be able to raise more consistent healthier stronger heifers that grow a little bit faster we can maybe get them in the barn a little sooner because they're going to be full grown ready to make milk sooner and you know we're going to hopefully have higher producing healthier cows in the in the barn within the next year or two it's a long-term payback it's not something i could say oh yeah five years you know it's gonna pay itself off we're good to go but uh you know i think uh, i think it was the right thing to do our old situation our old half for barn just it wasn't enough space i just i wasn't a fan of seeing the animals in there <laughs> they were fine but you know i think we made a big improvement and i you know i don't think we're gonna regret it i mean it, it's such a blessing to be able to be in a position where we can make some improvements like this this is something i've been dreaming about since i was a kid i would say being able to upgrade our heifer barn so as far as any other questions if you have any you can comment below i can see if i can answer them later i probably missed a ton of stuff but that's kind of a decent overview i guess that's it thanks a lot for watching guys so i don't know if you guys noticed my sweatshirt we got some new merch well we have a couple different colors that i really like but these uh hoodies are awesome so i got the link in the description of that if anyone's interested we gotta pay for this heifer barn somehow guys no i'm just kidding i hope you guys can enjoy the merch and it does help support me my sisters are involved so uh yeah thanks a lot guys